Hors and Jess, Homo Sujibu X, and this is How Wild Was the Wild West? Short and meta documentary where the channel History Matters. We've all heard the stories of the Wild West. Saloon brawls, duels at high noon. We, we all heard it because, you know, obviously movies are the thing. But let's be honest, it's Red Dead Redemption, right? That just peaked uh, recently at least. Duels at high noon, ladies being tied to train tracks by mustache gentlemen, cowboys fighting Indians. But how true is any of this? To put it bluntly, just how wild was the Wild West? Yeah, I don't know much about this. Obviously, only information I have is from the movies and games, which can be exaggerated, definitely. So, yeah, uh, you can take something from certain period, certain things that made it different and just basically blow that up. And that's basically uh, a trope or whatever of the time, right? So when we think of medieval times, we think about torture chambers, this and that, right? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, there was a, I don't know, uh, pretty sure there was a science, uh, you know, talk and somehow that came up, uh, I guess, I don't know, was that Neil deGrasse Tyson? I don't know. But that was just funny. So, yeah, this uh, trope thing, that could be the thing with this Wild West, like a small part of thing that happened in small portion of the West and just got blown out of proportion and that's how we see Wild West. But it wasn't all that bad like that. Who knows? But yeah, I guess it makes sense since how US expanded West, right? I don't know US expanded West and uh, they, they were just, you know, there were lands there, they were giving out lands, they needed people to populate these areas, right? So I guess it was uh, more lawless than the East because of it, because it was newly just, you know, getting founded. It was Deadwood, I think it was a TV show, right? With Timothy Oliphant. I'm pretty sure it was, which was a really fun show. Uh, one of the best so I watched, I guess, about this Wild West type of thing, at least. Uh, th that also touched on that, like, you know, people need, you know, governments needed people to inhabit these towns, right? Whether it's a gold, uh, you know, rush or whatever. But yeah, so that could be one of the reasons, like, why lawlessness would be a big thing there. Like, why it's, it's not densely populated. I guess it's a new place, right? New thing. So people... You know, might not care about it as much as how it worked in East. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that not everything is exaggerated, right? All this, uh, you know, b great, uh, you know, bounty hunters, the name of we know of, right? All these different wanted people that were at the time. So yeah, this is kind of real. It was kind of fucked up, but yeah, that's what it is. Remember, if you like my links, don't forget to subscribe. So I know we should have a video tomorrow. Check out the links under this link in the season. And yeah, that's what it is. When people think of the American Wild West, several ideas often spring to mind. Saloons, conflict between cowboys and Native Americans, a general sense of lawlessness and people being tied up to railroads for some inexplicable reason. <laughs> the prevailing idea is that the Wild West was, well, wild. But how true is this view? Just how wild was Can't the Wild West? Can't be completely, West? right? Just to clear up some dates, when most people are talking about the Wild West, they're mostly referencing the period between 1848 when the US gained these lands up until the early 20th century. So we'll go through these common images of the Wild West one at a time. First of all, saloons were very common since everybody liked to drink. But a couple of misconceptions exist. One, most saloons had regular doors because the Old West was dusty and also because you want to lock the door sometimes. Yes, they did serve booze, it was expensive, yes, there was gambling, it caused problems, and yes, there were prostitutes, but they weren't exactly ever present. So just how wild were these saloons? Yes, there were prostitutes, it applies to basically every time and every place. But yeah, that thing with the, you know, that door, right? That door on the hinge. I mean, when you really think about it, like, come on, that's unrealistic, right? What, at the night, how are they going to lock that shit? So yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> they weren't. Most of them were essentially workers' clubs, and it was more likely you'd hear about Marx than see a mass brawl. But what about cowboys then? Do they match up to the common image that we have of them? Nope. Cowboys were ranchers and worked to keep cattle safe from predators cowboys. and the occasional thief. Now, cowboys all over the American West did develop a culture of suspicion of outsiders and of loutish violence, which led to many people who stayed in small frontier towns being accosted by local ranch workers. Sometimes they would be robbed, sometimes they would be assaulted, and sometimes the locals acted up to play up to the stereotype. What stereotype? Well, along the East Coast, many people were fascinated with the rugged culture that had been developing, and so many journalists travelled to the frontier to provide stories which they promptly exaggerated. And something not often spoken about is the fact that cowboys had bosses, and those bosses weren't too keen on the whole violence thing. Hence why when cowboys were caught misbehaving, they were fired. As for the cowboys and Indians trope, Native Americans were treated horrendously by those moving westward. However, most of the violence... I think when we when we really think about the cowboys from the Wild West, uh, it's usually bounty hunters, right? 
I guess that's the thing. Bounty hunters, mercenaries, whatever. And they were a thing. I'm pretty sure they were a thing. But uh, yeah, it does make sense that they were not the you know most, you know, ev I don't know how to say that. It wasn't that common that we think of, right? Uh, common Wild West people would be like this video saying, right? Not the movies and shit that we see of, but yeah. Towards them wasn't between natives and roaming gangs of cowboys and bandits, it was between them and the central government who could and did exert considerable force in the West. Which brings us onto law and order. There's a common idea of constant duels, robberies and a general sense of lawlessness which was caused by there only being one sheriff every 100 square miles. Often sheriffs would be aided by several others in their duties and also being a sheriff was quite boring. When say looking at California during the gold rush most crime was alcohol related and there was very little in the way of serious violence although criminal gangs did exist especially in the south. However, the central government was able to exert pretty considerable control over the area despite the sheer empty distances. If crime got too bad, the central government or the state government could quickly clamp down on it because governors and politicians don't like to look bad and want to be re-elected. And as yeah. for the whole tying people to railroads thing, it originated as a trope of fiction in what were called dime novels, which were incredibly popular. And yes, this did actually happen to people, but one, it happened all over the US, not just in the West, and two, it happened about five times over a 50 year period. And so, to answer the question, how wild... So, let me get this straight. When people are living in the time, they want to exaggerate thing to look cool. So, they want to use that imagination to, I guess, uh, over-exaggerate thing. Then, decades and centuries later, people use that and over-exaggerate even that. And now we have this deadly, holy shit, if you go there, you're going to die in a week, Wild West. Which, obviously, is not going to be true. <laughs> what was the Wild West? The answer is, well, a little. Just as wild yeah. as the American East, or say, rural Italy was at the time. The fact is, for most Americans living on the frontier, life was very similar to that back in the East. For every cowboy, there was a miner or a furniture maker, and a small mining town was often, all things considered, pretty boring. I hope you enjoyed this episode, yeah, yeah. and thank you for watching, with a special thanks to my Patreon. <laughs> Imagine that, uh, those people, oh, imagine if you had a time machine, go, get, go back to Wild West, wouldn't it be so adventurous, so fun? Yeah, no, it wouldn't be. It really wouldn't be. In today's age, we really uh, don't uh, realize that how fast-paced our life is compared to the past, right? It was really fucking boring, right? Towns and shit, everyday thing, everyday work. I mean, you hear of the story today, like, people who have everyday job gets, you know, have depression issues. Right, and that's today. Right, I mean there are lots of extra, you know, activities that you can do throughout your life, leisure activities you can pick up, and yet people are depressed. Imagine time like that, right, where you can't do shit. It's a very lonely town, very little thing you can do, and you have your job every single day. It was pretty fucking boring. Not the epic wild west you think of. But yeah, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, All right, well that was how wild was the wild west. Yeah, obviously a bit. Every myth has some true truth behind it. So yeah, even over exaggeration would need something to begin with. So somewhat wild west, I guess. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.